Hi guys, um, this video is walking you guys through your syllabus and your course calendar and I'm going to do this as quickly as I possibly can. Um, there's a lot of material to cover and there's a syllabus quiz that follows this so make sure that you do download it and save it. Um, you can always access this uh, here in the course introduction or you can access it on the syllabus tab in the top left corner. So, um, My name is Brittany Estes and if you need to email me, my email is right here. It's brittany.estes at my.tccd.edu. Um, the course uh, starts March 18th and goes to May 3rd. It's entirely online, of course, um, and it's pretty jam-packed because this is a short eight-week course. So uh, basically, we're looking at all the sort of texts and, and genres that um, helped, helped create the new American identity, all the way from um, uh, the early settlers like Columbus and Cabeza de Vaca, all the way up to basically the Civil War. Um, you guys can look at the course goals and learning outcomes yourself, but um, note that uh, you will need um, a textbook. So you do need the North Anthology of American Literature be beginnings to 1865. Now, I do say current edition, but um, you honestly can choose any edition that you like. Um, note that the current edition is the ninth edition. I actually have the eighth edition for teaching. So if you get the ninth, the page numbers and some of the titles may not match up perfectly. But um, everything else will, you'll be able to stop the lectures to find the correct page numbers if you need, or you'll be able to um, use the index to find the correct um, material. Everything else is available on Blackboard. Um, and speaking of Blackboard, you need to make sure that you understand how it works. Um, make sure that you're familiar with everything. There's a, a Blackboard 101 video that I've made that you can always find under the syllabus tab throughout the semester. Um, if you need it, it's also here on the announcements tab. Um, and just kind of walks through how we use Blackboard for this course. So uh, there are three major units in this course. Um, each is about two weeks or so, two to three weeks. Um, the first one is early settlement, so that's looking at, as I said, Columbus, the Vaca, other early settlers, um, moving up through uh, the Enlightenment and the Romanticism together, and then Transcendentalism. So the first essay that you write for the first unit will be 15%, and then 25 for the second one, because it is the longest time that you have to write an essay, and then the third one is 20%. Um, together, these count for 60% of your total grade. Um, the remaining 40% come from quizzes, which are 10. Writing assignments, which is like a, a major writing assignment where it's graded for content, um, is 5%. Weekly blogs and online discussions are 10 each, and these are more completion-based, but I do expect thoughtful completion. Um, and then attendance and participation is 5%. So the grading skills here if you need it. Um, an incomplete, if it happens, is something that we can work on together. Incompletes are pretty rare. They're only for kind of really extenuating circumstances, say, you know, an extended illness or something like that. Um, but if it does happen, here's kind of the, the guidelines for how we how we make that happen. Um, everything is due typically on Sunday at midnight. So the way I've structured each week, um, you have the entire week to work as you want. Um, to best, fit, best fits your schedule, but typically all of your assignments would be due on Sunday at midnight or 11.59 p.m., if you will, but midnight, essentially. Um, each week you'll find the assignments listed. Um, it very, very clearly states each week when assignments are due, but if I say week three, for example, which is November 6th through 10th, that's the Monday through Friday designation, and I do that just to make it clear what the work week is, um, and then I'll always say final assignments for the week due on Sunday, blah, blah, blah. Um, all essays will be standard one inch margins, double space, Times New Roman, Arial, um, or Cambria 12 point font for MLA. Um, all the MLA rules require, of course, and you'll kind of have a, a quick dive into those and option for some material on that. Um, everything is checked through SafeAssign for plagiarism, so please do note that. Um, late work is not accepted simply because you are able to work ahead if you need, so Within each unit, say each unit is two weeks, you'll actually have both weeks open to you all at once. So you can work ahead in the units if you need to. Say you know you have a quick vacation coming or something like that. Um, the goal of this is that if you do need to work ahead, you can. Um, each unit will open following the, the due date of the, the previous essay. Um, and then grades, of course, you can check through uh, Blackboard. I keep the, everything pretty uh, well up to date so you always know where you stand. 
Um, an attendance policy is in place for the course. If you don't participate within 15% of the class instruction, then the, the instructor does have the right to drop you from the course. So that, that uh, policy is there. If you need the withdrawal policy, all that information is right there. Um, I forgot to add this and I apologize. I believe the final ad drop date was April 11th. Um, so participation simply means that you are participating, you are doing all of your assignments, you're doing your discussion boards. Um, that's really all you need to do. Um, important class dates, we start the 18th. I believe the final ad drop date is 11th um, and final class day is May 8th. Um, academic dishonesty is pretty simple. Don't cheat. Don't plagiarize. Um, Safe Assign is really good at finding anything that's plagiarized. It'll even pick up um, what's on your your bibliography and highlight it for me and show me what's you know what looks like it's plagiarism. Um, it will also find any previous essays or assignments that you've done, and it'll take me directly to it. It will also pick up any essays or assignments from other students. Um, and take me to those, um, not just at TCC, but, you know, kind of worldwide. Um, so basically, it's very simple. Don't do it. It's not worth it. If you plagiarize, you can fail the course. You can fail the assignment. You can um, be expelled from the college. You can be um, prohibited from doing any extracurriculars. Um, it's just not worth it at all for a three- to four-page essay to plagiarize something. So make sure you use citations, and you should be good. Um, if you need me, emails will be responded to within 24 hours. Everything will be returned to you, I say within two weeks, but that's really quite extended. Um, smaller assignments are returned to you pretty quickly. Uh, major assignments like essays may require a week or two simply because I do teach multiple courses. Um, and then online office hours, if you need me, you can always uh, message me or send me an email and we can use the instant message function in Blackboard. That's how um, I hold office hours upon request. If you need student support services, that info is here. Disability services is right here. If you do have a, um, a need for a certain accommodation, you do need to go through the disability services office. Um, they will draft up paperwork that I have to sign and you have to sign, and then any type of um, accommodations can be created. Uh, technical requirements are pretty clear. Make sure you have good internet. Make sure that you can have you know everything visible, pop lockers turned off, plugins turned on. Um, Make sure that uh, when you're doing this on a mobile device, note that not everything fully works on a mobile device. Um, that's just the nature of Blackboard. So you're willing to have some type of some type of computer. Make sure you have your TCC email account. That's how I'll be communicating with you. And if you have, oh, and make sure you have um, Microsoft Word. If you don't have Word, you will need to go get it. It is free online, um, even if you have a Mac. I cannot accept major essays that are in PDF format or text or um, pages or any of those. It has to be Word because that's the only way that it renders on the page so that I can add comments to it. Um, apologies. Um, if there's power outage, technical issue, whatever, call the 24-7 help desk. They're amazing. They'll absolutely help you out. Also send me an email with the time of the issue at the time of the issue and a screenshot of the issue if possible. Um, I'll do my best to help because I've been teaching this for many years so I can figure out some things, but um, make sure you always do the 24-7 help desk as well. So the quick rundown of the course calendar. Um, the first week we start with early settlers. We get the the Columbus and, and Cabeza de Vaca. The second week, um, you have Anne Bradstreet, Native Trickster Tales, and then your first essay assignment. Um, the uh, Unit 2 will actually be, well, I should note, um, this is actually not due on March 24th. I extend the deadline for you guys for the first two weeks so that you can get used to the course and get used to how everything is. So the first two weeks actually will be due on this second week deadline. But from there on out, everything is due Sunday at midnight of that week. So um, your first essay is due on Sunday, March 31st. And then your second essay um, comes in Unit 2. So we'll be doing the Founding Fathers. And we'll be looking at Enlightenment. And then we'll move to some female poets and some marginalized voices. Um, and then we'll jump into Romanticism that week. Um, and you'll do Longfellow and Poe. And then you get your essay two assignment sheet, and um, the essay two is due on Sunday, April twenty first. 
And then on Unit 3, uh, Week 6, you jump into Transcendentalism. So we look at Emerson, Thoreau, and then you make a choice between Whitman or Dickinson. Um, and then your last, basically your last week, you will um, be looking at Frederick Douglass, and then you'll do your third essay, which is due on Sunday, May 5th. Now, I don't actually do a final exam, so... Um, once you're done with this essay, you're actually done with the course. There is an extra credit opportunity available to you that is due that following Monday night at midnight. Um, but if you choose not to take advantage of it, then you're actually done after after this assignment. Um, that is all of the information. If you have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, you're going to go ahead and move on and take your syllabus quiz.